Given that uh, the rebound of the of the uh, consumer demand has been very strong in January, uh, of course we have to uh, look at the seasonal effect. This is the in a lunar new year, uh, so obviously there's a lot of spending, a lot of pent up demand uh, from the households because uh, people uh, could not spend uh, their money uh, or travel. So. Um, Obviously, there was a, a very quick resurgence in spending, and as you know, that household spending is the main driver of economic growth, GDP growth. Whether that would continue throughout the year, uh, and that is the question, because whether there will be other shocks, whether it's pandemic-related shocks and uh, requiring lockdowns or other uh, global shocks, especially uh, uh, worse than expected slowdown in Europe and uh, and United States, that may affect China's net export situation. So overall, we are optimistic that this is the uh, positive trajectory for the Chinese economy. Probably the worst is behind, not ahead. Unlike for other economies, where we see the worst uh, could be ahead of them. But Chinese economy has turned the corner, and we believe um, you know this is again uh, what we mentioned um, you know in in several our, our um, briefing to the media that this is our baseline scenario. Um, it could be significantly higher, uh, in fact, 5.2, 5.3. But we don't want to put any number right now because uh, it's a number is a chasing game. So I can uh, put a number and tomorrow you can have a different number. So we are comfortable with the 4.8% growth uh, uh, forecast for China for, for this year. But it is uh, uh, it can have uh, some upward revision when we uh, release our media update in May.